Ida throughout New Jersey. And one of the hardest hit areas is Manville in Somerset County. News 12 New Jersey, Starling Melendez is there this morning with what people are waking up to today and an explosion in the area. Darlene. Yeah, we heard that explosion was heard from miles away, as far away as New Brunswick. That's almost 15 miles away. But the good news is here, people are starting to wake up to those floodwaters receding this morning. If you remember last hour, I showed you those floodwaters were up to this crosswalk area here. You can see now it is uh, receded quite a bit and is all the way over here. So quite a few feet, at least uh, 20 feet maybe. So that is good news. We're making some good progress here this morning. Far away over there, that pickup truck, is, the water is still up to its headlights, but slowly this water is going down. Now over here on this other side, I want to show you these cars uh, that are still stalled in the middle of the intersection here. You see uh, this Honda and the Volvo next to it. They're still stalled this morning. This is what we're seeing uh, throughout, not just Manville, but throughout the state of New Jersey. And a lot of people, they had to abandon their cars yesterday because of all of these floodwaters. Now, just look at how much it has receded here as well. We can see, uh, obviously, the roads are still wet here, and there's a lot of debris and mud, but the flood water is slowly moving its way across the bridge here, which, again, good news that people uh, will be waking up to these flood waters receding. But this also means that this is now time for the cleanup to begin. Earlier this morning, we spoke to the person who manages the American Legion post just down the road here, and he was just emotional, saying that this is uh, another time for him to have to uh, clean this up. Uh, his building up because of this flooding and it's just the devastation. So up here we're seeing, uh, actually you can see this creek overflowed. Um, so you can see all of this water still here, just standing water now. Uh, but the good news again is it's starting to recede this morning. This is a good sign here. Um, hopefully roads will start reopening soon, but this will also give us a bigger picture, a better picture now of what the damage truly is under all of this water brought on by Ida. We're live in Manville, Darlene Melendez, News 12 New Jersey. The entrance of what was the Saffron Banquet Hall. There's a grand opening sign right underneath that sign. And as we pan up now, uh, you'll see what remains of that building and it has been leveled by an early morning explosion. Uh, first call came in at about 2 o'clock this morning of a huge explosion in this building. As you can see it has been reduced to rubble. The, you also still see a fire burning there. That is a gas main that has not yet been capped and it, it is a uh, the type and a water main right next to it that is also still gushing water out. Uh, the fire crews have not really been able to get to this. There is still extensive flooding uh, in this area in Manville uh, and up toward uh, neighboring Boundbrook uh, along the Millstone River and uh, the uh, Raritan River. Uh, this flooding has not really receded. And again, this banquet hall, the parking area, everything was surrounded uh, by this water, which has not yet receded in this area. Uh, we've seen a number of other smaller uh, house fires in this area of Manville also still burning. Similar situation where these are flooded streets and uh, at this point the fire crews uh, really cannot get into this area. Uh, so it has been a very tough morning again, very reminiscent of a situation about 20 years ago or so uh, back in 1999 after uh, Hurricane Floyd and the, uh, the devastation uh, that was wrought in this area back then. Uh, and we are seeing similar scenes of that this morning and again still active scenes uh, many many local street closings we also still have some of the exits off of route 287 closed down lincoln avenue western canal road south and north main street uh in for this entire area still remaining shut down and we are live over manville new jersey i'm tom kaminsky in air 11 betty and dan back to you in studio tom can you stay with us for just a moment because in watching that we're seeing multiple problems on top of each other. You've got the fire at uh, the restaurant, but then you had that house fire. We've been watching burn for about an hour now, and it seems like that house has been burned to the ground. I can't even begin to imagine what the homeowners are feeling like right now because there are no emergency crews around there, and to watch your home just burn. 
Look at that. And that is, that's part of the issues that there do not appear to be any emergency crews around this because uh, some of these streets are open and passable, but many of them are not. So we have not been able to see any of uh, any emergency vehicles in this, uh, in this immediate area. So uh, at least uh, we've been watching those two fires that you mentioned. Uh, they are in the area. Uh, the other issue is going to be just trying to get any utility crews uh, to get the uh, to get this turned off. Now you see where that fire is toward the top right corner. You go down that street, uh, and uh, it is still completely washed out, completely flooded out. Uh, the banks of the Millstone River and the Raritan River have not yet uh, are, are still breached uh, in this area. Uh, so again, it is very difficult to even have emergency crews uh, in this immediate area. So we're going to be keeping a close eye uh, on this whole stretch. Breaking news out of Manville, New Jersey right now. Chopper 2 is over the scene. Dan Rice, it is going from bad to worse there. The last thing you want to see, Maurice, is something like this in an isolated area with flooding a house fire. Not one, but two of them. Look to the left of the house that's on fire, and you can see the ashes from the first house that caught fire, and now the one next to it, you can see that fire just burning out of control. The problem is the water is so deep, and if you look in front of that house, you can see a car with water up to its roof. That water is so deep, the firefighters cannot get to this building. Now, at this point, no reports of any injuries. That's the good news out of this, but a desperate situation for people in Manville here getting worse. You can see the house fire, no help in site. We'll come back down here at North 4th Avenue and you can see this is as far as the firefighters can get. They can't get any further so crews doing the best they can to take care of the situation. Reporting live in Chopper 2, Dan Rice, CBS 2 News. Maurice, back to you. Okay, Dan, do keep us posted on that one.